Collectors, it is my honor to bring you Jim Catalano. Jim, how you doing? Good. I've always Great. wanted to talk to you. Well, thank you. This, I've, been, I've been around a while. Uh, he certainly has, and he's going to tell us about that. He's been around longer than you think. You ever bought drums from the 60s, 70s? Ludwigs, that's what you're all about. Let's Hi. hear about it. Well, first of all, you got to think about what are those things that you know got you started in this business. Well, for me as a kid, obviously February 9th, 1964, I was 10 years old, watching that Ed Sullivan show. I looked to my mom and dad, still feeling kind of sad because we lost our president a month or two months earlier. You know, Mr. When Kennedy was assassinated. Yes, sir. When I saw Ringo play, I said, Mom, Dad, that's it. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to play drums. I'm going to play Ludwig drums, just like Ringo Starr. And frankly, it's really been kind of amazing. I feel very blessed that I had that opportunity to learn to be a drummer, but also to eventually go to work for Ludwig, be befriended by Bill Ludwig. I, I have a saying, I like to call it, I had the rare opportunity of being able to walk with a legend. He speaks of Bill Ludwig the second who passed away three years ago, right around this time. Uh, this man was so influential in the world of drumming. I know you all know that, but he was right there with them. Tell us the well, story. Well, for 22 years, you know, I got to travel with him all over the world, actually. The part that was so cool is what, when he sold the company in 1981, I didn't come on the scene until early 83. And uh, the first thing that I said as a 28-year-old kid is I said, what is going on? why isn't Mr. Ledwig involved with the company? And everyone said, well, he sold the company. I said, well, that shouldn't matter. Let's get him out there. Let's, let's, I mean, he's our greatest ambassador, our greatest celebrity. So we got him out on the road. We traveled. We did clinics together. He did his history of percussion clinic. Then I would talk about new stuff. But being that I was in a relatively accomplished percussionist and drummer, and I knew all the stuff that he knew, we could do uh, uh, events together. And so, you know, we traveled all over the place. The part that was so great, though, is he got to tell me the inside scoop of things that happened throughout the history of the company, you know, and why. And uh, I just, uh, in some ways, whenever you're growing up and you're learning a business, you need a mentor. I happened to be put in a position of leadership when I was very young, but that didn't mean I didn't need a mentor. So I went and I got Bill Ludwig Jr., which later we named him the Chief. And I, that was me, by the way, that called him that, out of You're respect. You're responsible for That's that. That's right. They used to play, every time Bill Ludwig II would come into this room, they would play Hail to the Chief. That's right. how highly respected this man was. And this is a personal friend of his who uh, did business with him and was responsible for a lot of the things that you love is having to do with Ludwig drums. Yeah, yeah, he was a great guy. He was a real, you know, he was a real family man too. You know, he was, uh, you know, sure he had to be a kind of a kind of shrewd businessman in his day. But when he retired and sold the business, uh, it would, all of a sudden those responsibilities became mine. Yes. Okay. And then he, we saw his softer, kinder, gentler side of course, of course, you know. But he just loved being part of this business. And, uh, and we used that in a, in a way that was really positive, and it served two purposes. It helped the company, but it also helped him because he wanted to stay involved, and uh, we were able to do that. And I felt, you know, when you go through a career like I've had, I'm 57 years old now, uh -huh. and I've been here for, I'm starting my 29th year with the company. Terrific. Okay? And, you know, you sit back and you say, what did I accomplish? Well, besides the fact that we're still in business and still relatively strong, which is a pretty good thing to say these days, the other part that I like to talk about is that we took a, a legend, an icon, and we kept him active in the business for 22 years after he sold the business. I don't think there's too many other former owners of companies that can say that they had that opportunity. Let me ask you this, Jim. Of all your time with Ludwig, what was the actual lowest point? You know, the lowest point keeps recurring every once in a while. Uh -huh. okay? You know, we do have ups and downs. I would say that, the, I mean, there was times in, in the, the 80s where yeah. things were really low, where I would be all by myself, I'd have no staff, and I had to do sales and marketing and advertising and artist relations and things like that all myself and still keep the company strong and viable. Those were difficult times. Also, it's difficult when uh, 
in the business world, sometimes other companies get bought out by bigger companies. And you don't always have people that are in charge of those bigger companies that necessarily have the same passion for the business that we know that we have to have. And so my job was to be that ambassador to keep everything going as well as I could with few resources, both financially and body-wise, okay? But to try to convince senior leadership that this was good and this was a viable, worthy endeavor to keep this Ludwig brand, iconic brand going. What a name. What I mean, a name. It is yeah. the name in drawing. Well, I have a saying. It's on the Ludwig 100th anniversary DVD, and this is met in no disrespect to any other company, but right. there's no Mr. Tama, and there's no Mr. Pearl, and I don't believe there's a Mr. Yamaha, but by golly, there's a Mr. Ludwig. <laughs> And there's a Mr. Jim Catalano. Sir, it is a true honor and a pleasure. And to tell you the truth, you're starting to be a legend in your own wow. right to me. I'm just happy to have a job, really. Okay. okay. Jim Catalano, you guys, right here at the Chicago Drum Show 2011. Thank you. <laughs> That's it. Very nice. Very right. nice. You know just what to say.